Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder and we're doing another top uh, video, it's not a top 10, it's going to be a top 6 I believe, um, top 6 things you could do in UWO to make money. Now these aren't the best ways in every single way, but they are some good ways you can make some money relatively easy and good ways um, that you can do some of them early game, some of them more mid game. And a few late game. So we're there's no real particular order. Actually, no, there is an order, and I'm gonna do my best to stick to my order here um, as best as I can. So uh, we're gonna do number one here, the, and I've talked about this in the last uh, episode, which was rare trade goods. I think it might be the fastest and best way to make money in the game um, for general use money. So like, if you're gonna need to make some money for all the things that you're doing in the game, just surviving. Buying trade goods, selling trade goods, and all this other stuff, and, and, and buying what you need to make your ships bit faster or stronger or leveling up and doing quests. This is the best way. It's a good, solid way to make millions in very simple transactions of buying something and selling something relatively easily. So if you want to see what rare trade goods are, go check out my other video, um, Top 10 Things to Do for New Game, uh, New Players um, in UWO. So Rare trade goods is number right, number one because it's the fastest, and I think you can get millions relatively easily and quickly, as well as get some good experience. Number two, production skills. Now, this won't make you massive amounts of money in every single way, but they are ways to make good money early game if you're trying to uh, convert some simple goods that are rel relatively cheap, uh, convert them into more expensive goods, and you'll make you know a good profit on them. You're not going to make millions necessarily in every single case, but you will make um, some decent money. Um, for example, I did with this tune, I uh, used cooking. Cooking is relatively simple. Cooking was taking, as soon as I hit the level to do it, I was buying pigs. I was converting pigs into pork, and then I was converting the pork into bacon or ham and selling that. And you could make a few hundred thousand on a good chunk of pigs. Now, that's not a lot, but that's something. Um, and that's just selling it right back to the market keeper. So that's not a problem. What is going to be more lucrative would be doing production skills that when you're done creating a particular item, it's sellable at bazaar or sellable to players, not necessarily to market keepers. So when you're a cook, those things aren't necessarily just food items. Sometimes they are actual foods that you use. So seafood pizza, salted fish with nuts, and you can't make bagels, but you can get bagels as far as I understand. But making these top tier foods are things you can sell. now. You might not sell these for much more than the invested ingredients that you bought to do it, and that's pretty much it. You don't need to factor in food to make your own vigor because you can use this stuff. So factor in all the ingredients it took you to make seafood pizza. So seafood pizza, it's cheese, fish, and wheat um, that you've ground into flour. So just call it, put the cost in, and you can estimate how much it cost you to make 200 of them and to sell a stack for something, you know, double the price. Who knows? And you'll make some money on it. Cooking is not the best way to do it, but other goods uh, that you can make from other production skills, such as lumber um, and casting, you can or not lumber, you can do that with handicrafts, making lumber. Lumber sells for a decent amount in certain um, cities and making MCCTs and LCCTs. There are guides to which ones make the best money, making sails, making cannons, um, making uh, clothing, making other things and other skills, but production skills, number two, best way to make money. Not the fastest necessarily, but one, another easier way as long as you're grinding your skill. Number three, spice trade. This is for mid to late game people. Go to Calicut or go to East Asia to get um, goods out that direction. Now, Nanban's a whole separate thing, but spice trade, which is pretty simple, you can do simple spice trading by simply sailing from your major city area. Right now I'm in Naples, but if you're in Seville, you're gonna sail to, to East Asia or Southeast Asia and you can buy things from Ambon and Run, and Dilly, I believe, is another one, and Turn 8. You can buy spices from this region here, sail all the way back to Seville, and sell your spices. That's what you see people doing here. Now, you can do two different ways. You could sell it directly to the market keeper and make a good chunk and also build, build your um, experience for trade. Or if you finally reach that late game level where you've kind of stacked out and there's nothing else for you to really do, you could buy crap tons of it and sell it like they are at 30,000 a piece or 35,000 a piece or 42,000 a piece and make quite a chunk. So that's another way to do it is with spice trading. Um, make sure, you know, to capitalize that, there's a whole process to getting high skill for spice trade. So that's a whole separate video. 
Number four, Namban trade. That would be going to East Asia, not Southeast Asia, which is the region north of Southeast Asia. And here we have it. It's Japan, China, Taiwan, and uh, I think that's it. Japan, Taiwan? Is that it? Taiwan? Korea? I don't know. Whatever. The other. Pohang and Japan and China. So get your items from there. That requires a little bit of extra work, um, knowing the market, what's needed out here, because you don't buy goods out of here. You bring goods here to trade. So you would bring like European goods that are particularly good to sell in certain these areas. Um, just as a quick note, um, don't go to places with recessions. Going to places with booms are good, um, and places that have other effects. Like here's war. So they're at war. What do you think they're going to want? Weapons, armors, gardens. Good time to play, take European armor over to them. Um, and you'll get, you know, for 300 armor, you might get a good chunk of, uh, depending on how good your relationship was, was with China, you might get a, you know, a big stack of Chinese goods to bring back. So that's another good way to make money. Same thing, you could sell them here in Seville or in Europe or wherever, Northern Europe, wherever, London. Or you could sit on the side and bazaar them out to people who want to sell them, like you see people here doing with the, the rifles. They sell rifles for like 75k. So that's Nampan. Number five, shipwrecks. Now, this may not be the most profitable thing in the world for everybody, depending on what you get from shipwrecks, but I find that shipwrecks are fun. So I think it might be the more fun thing to do and make money while you're doing it because you can get items and you can get other things to sell for bazaar and you can get some plundered goods and stuff of that nature that sell for a bit of money. Not the most profitable in every regard for most people, but a good way to do it if you're looking for something fun. Um, I have not made a video on how to do shipwrecking, once I get my feet wet in shipwrecking a bit more, I will show you how that's done too in another separate video. Uh, number six, um, probably the next best way, or sorry, I have two number fives. Number five would be dungeoning, kind of along the same idea with shipwrecks. You can do shipwrecks uh, separately from dungeons or dungeons before shipwrecks or at the same time. Dungeons are one way to get items while completing them. Sometimes, you know, I don't have much experience doing dungeons, but I know there's one in Syracuse that I can do, and you can make a few hundred thousand depending on what you get from Syracuse um, when you finish the uh, first level and so on and so forth. You get the SPTs. You know, doing land battles uh, for dungeons, sometimes you can earn decent money doing that. Again, fun way to do it, not necessarily the most profitable way depending on what level dungeons you're doing. Um, and then number six, finally, or seven in this case, would be shipbuilding. Um, but it's something in which that you need to be high level for. And you gotta invest the time in. And you've gotta be able to find a buyer for your stuff. And you gotta be very knowledgeable of what you're doing in the sense of making something good. Because if you don't make it good, people will be upset. I know nothing about it, but I know it can be profitable if you're somebody who knows what you're doing very well. So it's like one of the best things to do. Um, and you could also put into this category discoveries. Now, discoveries don't earn you money per se um, every single time, but you can get items while doing certain discoveries and certain quests. And those items that you get um, can uh, be pretty good, uh, like amulets of sun, you know, 20 million right there. So that's something else you could look into, but not my favorite way and not a very experienced way of me knowing how to do it either. So shipbuilding and item grinding are kind of going to fill up the bottom slot. And then honorable mention here, reselling, finding products that someone's selling for really cheap, buying them and reselling them for the higher price. You very well could find a guy selling spice for 30,000, buy his spice for 30,000 and resell it for 32,000. But because you bought a stack of 200 or 999 for it, multiply that 999 by the profit difference, 2,000 and you're going to make that much more money than he would have gotten. So reselling is a good way to do it. Now, not the most effective way and also takes the longest because you got to leave a character in Bazaar for a while. But sometimes you could snipe out those really good cheap items out there that someone's selling, like just trying to offhand them really quickly. And so like, oh, you might find some really cheap items that are, for like, are going for way less than they normally would because they're just trying to offload them and you can pick them up and sell them yourself. Not the best way. And not, it's one of the better ways to do it, but not one of the um, most uh, admirable ways. People don't like that because they think that messes up the market. But in reality, it's you leveling the market. So it just depends on how you feel about it. But those are my top ways. Um, I think that was seven ways with an honorable mention. 
um, seven ways to make money in UWO. Not the most comprehensive list, but my list nonetheless, and I hope that it was helpful to you, and maybe you can get started on some of these things right away, or maybe you're doing these things just naturally. Hopefully they were helpful, and I really do appreciate everybody who comes by and watches these videos. The last one was received really well, probably one of my most received videos um, in a long while, so I do appreciate it. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the videos, share them, spread the news that I'm doing the best I can to try to make this, uh, you know, all work out for all of us here so that we can keep building the community. I do appreciate you swinging by. Thanks again. It's Chuck Thunder signing out.